Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. Today we're gonna do a fun little project together. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it will work, but I kind of had the idea pop into my head of light up boxes, like candle paper boxes. So let's go into images and I'm gonna click at the top, all images, going to image sets and we're gonna search boxes. So we're gonna scroll down and we've got two sets of boxes there, fancy boxes, and I'm looking for boxes that have two layers. So let's see what we have in this one. There's a good one there. I'm gonna add it to my canvas, that nice pyramid. Let's go back, because I wanna try different shapes. So this one is box it up. I like that one there. It says it's a leaf pattern. And I want one more. Let's pick that one. We'll add them all to the canvas. Give it a second here. There we go. So you can see they come in a whole bunch of different sizes. Now, I want to use the flameless LED or flameless candles, tea lights. So I already measured mine and it is a circle that's one and a half inches in diameter. So I'm going to change the size to that, to one and a half inches. And once you get it to there, you can resize your projects to fit what you want better. I also have some fairy lights. They're about two inches wide, uh, about an inch kind of width. So I think those will look really good in the boxes. I'm gonna make that one bigger. So usually when I size things for boxes, I base it on the size of my paper or what needs to go in it, whichever one works best. So I'll probably play with these sizes. I'll do it off screen so I don't bore you but I'll meet you back at my craft desk with everything cut out so we can go from there. Here is everything cut out. Now, before we start, we have to do a little bit of prep work because these aren't traditional boxes. So on any box that has a score line and has this piece here, that's intended to fold inwards. So I'll show you. And the opposite color that you're gonna use so for example, we'll throw that in there. So it would go like that. So you would see that paper in behind and then this would be in behind that and it keeps it kind of all together. We don't need this part. So if you have a box like that, cut that off. Then the other thing you're gonna run into is the edge along here is quite thin, but the tab line, I know it's really hard to see, so see how thick that is between my two nails there? You're gonna to wanna to trim that down because it's the same issue as this. So I'm gonna get that all prepped on my end and then we'll start putting them together. Okay, mine's all cut. Just a little tip for you. If you have a paper trimmer, put the score line in first, then you're not worrying about how hard it would be to put the score line to fold it when it's a lot tinier. So, but your next step is gluing on your vellum pieces. I'm going to use clear glue and you don't want to do too too much obviously enough for it to adhere but if you do too much uh, you can see the glue on vellum paper. I'm going to try and get a little bit of glue on all the flowers. You can see I use double-sided paper for this one. I'll do just a little bit along there, along the top. You don't need much. Take this little piece here. Get the 
attached, get it centered. Press down. You want to make sure that you let the glue fully dry. So I'll get the rest of my pieces all attached. Pretty self-explanatory, but then we'll go on to the next step, building the boxes. Okay, giving mine a chance to dry. So let's build the box. If you've never built a box, they are easy. All the score lines, just press those inwards. These make up the bottom of the box. And it's definitely easier to do this before you glue the two pieces together. You can pop them back out. We've got two score lines in the center of the design. We'll get those ones as well. So many score lines. <laughs> no, it's not too many. And the two pieces just get glued end to end. So remember, you made these ones smaller so you don't have as much room to work with. I'm using my regular craft glue. This is my favorite glue for paper crafts. I just didn't use it on the vellum because I wanted the clear. So line them up. Line up the bottoms, because remember you did cut off part of the top. Let that dry, and then just glue your last two pieces together. Once mine's dry, I'll do that, and then I'll be back. Okay, now that that's dry, let's build the lid, and then I'll show you how to put the box together. So the lid is easy. There are... Four score lines going around the center. Just fold those those in. Easy peasy. You can hear the vellum. <laughs> it makes a very different crackly sound. Then on two of the ends, there are extra tabs. So just tab those in. And they go on the inside there. So it all goes together, so you can see right there. And just glue those tabs. Make sure to glue them on the inside so it looks pretty. Oh, my glue dried a little bit there. Get the blob of glue off. I just bring them together, give them a pinch, and then move on to the next one. these tabs at the same time. Let's see how talented I am. Oh, some of them are popping off. Got ahead of myself. Usually it's fine with just a tab. We'll put that off to the side. So when it comes to the bottom of the box, I know it can get confusing how this goes together. So open it up, that end, make sure you can see it well enough, that end goes in first, then the two side pieces go in, the tab, just pop it underneath. You don't want to really bend anything, so there you go, and then this piece just pops in, in there. You might have to finagle a little bit. There we go. So there's the inside. There's the back. So we got our first box complete. I'll get the other one done up. I put the folds in this one. There's no gluing involved. Not what we're doing with it. So it just makes a little pyramid. You can see it there. And ribbon on the top. So you need your fake tea light. Mine are flickering ones. If I can get it turned on. There we go. 
So before you tie this one up, you obviously want to get your tea light in there and some type of twine or ribbon. I'm going to use white ribbon on mine. That was the nicest match I could make, but I'm going to get these all done up. I've also got a set of like the fairy lights. I'm going to put that in the tall skinny one. So I'll be back when everything has their lights in it and we'll see how it looks. So there they are. Aren't these gorgeous? I can't wait for the sun to go down so I can have these scattered throughout my living room and dining room area. The two bigger ones have the fairy lights in them. And then the pyramid has the flameless candle, a uh, tea light. So they look wonderful and I can't believe how much light is actually put off by those fairy lights. So please give this a try. This was super easy. You just need paper. It doesn't even need to be patterned paper, but paper, vellum, and flameless tea lights or fairy lights. And you can make these cute little, I'm not even sure what to call them. Originally I was gonna call them uh, paper candle holders, but they're not really candle holders. So I'll have to come up with a better name. But thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.